Hi, everybody. Good to see you. Welcome to Connections with Carl. I'm actually on my back porch enjoying this uh, beautiful, beautiful weather. So I'll give you a second to join me here. Great to see you. Uh, we had a great time up in Michigan. Thank you for praying for our safety. It was great seeing uh, little Asa Paul. What a great kid. Uh, and it is great to be back. So, hey, so welcome again. So today, um, maybe you received the Go 2020 Challenge. Uh, the month of May is a, is a month that was set aside even before this whole COVID-19 thing to be a, a month of evangelism, a month of reaching out. And today's challenge, maybe once again you got that text, was ask a friend, how can you pray for them? And if you know me, I am a big believer in prayer evangelism. Simply asking people, hey, how can I pray for you? I do that with my friends. I do that with strangers. Um, I have just found that people are very open to prayer. I say that because uh, many people actually do pray. <laughs> they might not tell you they pray, but I just think there's something in the human heart that, that reaches out when there's struggles, when, there's, um, when people are in a panic. They, they pray. And so people just know how to pray. Um, I think people respect people who pray. I think people don't mind being asked, hey, how can I pray for you? I think it's a very soft yet clear way to witness about your faith. Hey, I do pray. I believe that there is a God who does hear prayer and answers prayer. I have that kind of faith. I'm that kind of person. Now, you don't have to say all that, but simply by asking, hey, how can I pray for you? You are communicating that. And when you pray for someone, they ask you to pray for them, and uh, God answers those prayers, because I believe God obviously answers those prayers, that um, when you do that, uh, they begin to connect the dots between you are asking them to pray, you're praying, and that answer, and that gets them thinking new thoughts. Is there a God? Does prayer work? Um, you know, what is all this? And you, you get into new conversations with people like, hey, um, you prayed for me and something happened. What was that about? You can talk about prayer. You can talk about God. You can talk about Jesus. You can talk about faith. And so I am a big believer in prayer evangelism. So I'm a big believer in today's challenge. Ask someone how you can pray for them. A friend. So how can you do that? You can call them. You can ask them. You can text them. So let's say they know that you have been praying for them. Let's just say that's been part of your relationship. You could say, hey, Tom, hope all is well. I've been praying for you. Is there anything I can pray for you for? Anything specifically I can pray for you for? If not, no problem, thanks, have a great day. See what happens. Let's say you really haven't been praying for them, so you don't wanna lie. You just say, um, you just pray for them right now. And then say, hey, Tom, hope all is well. I just prayed for you. Is there anything I can pray for you for? If not, no problem, just wanted to know, um, thanks, have a great day. Or let's say this is like really new in your relationship. They don't know you pray, they don't know you've been praying for them. You could do something like this. Hey Tom, I hope all is well. Not sure you know this, but I pray regularly. There's the witness. Is there anything I can pray for you for? If not, no problem, just thought I would ask. Thanks, have a great day. Those are some things you can do to get the conversation going. And I actually have those texts below uh, uh, for you to, to simply look at and copy if need be. So once again, challenge you to do this challenge. I wanna read from 1 Timothy chapter two. I urge then, first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings and all those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. This is good. 
and pleases God our Savior, who wants all people to be saved and come to a knowledge of the truth. The truth about him, the truth about prayer, the truth about Jesus continues, for there is one God and one mediator between God and mankind, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all people. Once again, God, Paul says, I urge you first of all to pray. And I think he's saying you pray for them individually, you pray for them at church, but why not ask them, how can I pray for you? I've been praying for you. And then specifically pray for them. I'm a big believer in prayer evangelism. I love the challenge for Go 2020 today. Ask a friend how you can pray for them. So when we're done here, I want you to do this. Ask God, who do you want me to ask? Be quiet. If a name comes to you, give them a call. Go see them. Text them. How can I pray for you? And I will be praying for you as you pray for them. Let's pray. So, Lord, thank you for the gift of prayer. Thank you that we can always be in constant communication with you. So who do you want us to reach out to right now? A friend, a family member that we can ask, how can I pray for you? And then, Lord, help us to be faithful in prayer. Answer those prayers in powerful ways that they have to connect the dots between our request, our prayers, and what you do, and may it lead to good conversations about you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, great seeing you. Um, thanks for the comments already. God bless. Love you much. See you.